Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Chukwemeka Michael Obasi, and I want to say a very big congratulations to all of you who have made it this far for the NLNG graduate training program. Okay, guys, I'm rooting for you guys. I'm rooting for you big time. I can't wait to hear your success story uh, after the test and also getting the job. So guys, I did apply for the job position, but I wasn't qualified for the aptitude test. It is what it is, guys. So we're going to be helping you as much as you need our help just to help you get better and ready for the aptitude test. And like you know, if you have questions, doubts, comments, just put it down in the comment section and we are going to respond as soon as possible. So guys, we can't wait to start this class. Let's get, let's get to work, let's get to work. We don't have much time, so let's get to work and see what we can achieve within the next few minutes. So we're going to be talking about the numerical um, um, critical reasoning. This is going to help you a lot for your preparation. So, and this will not be the only video we are going to be uploading. We have so many, so we are going to be doing so many other videos that's going to help you as much as you are preparing for the aptitude test. So guys, let's get to work. So this here will be our very first question for today. Okay, this will be our first question for today. And um, let's see how we're going to get started. So go get your writing materials and let's get started. So this is question one. It says, what total profit did the GRE system make from sales? Now take note, they're talking about the profit they made from sales. So you're going to be very specific how you select the profit. Yeah? So now let's go to the, to the chart. This is the chart. We have the GRE system in revenue by, uh, in, in, sorry, the GRE system revenue by regions. And this all in pounds, million, millions of pounds. Now these are the regions we have, north, south, east, west, and central. And for the services, this is the profit we made. And for sales, this is the profit we made for sales, okay? So we are interested in the profit we made from sales, not from services. So I'm gonna take off this one. So look at the profit we made from sales. We made 40 here, 40 uh, million euro. We made 60 million euro. So when you add up all of these guys together, how many will you get? Um, this is going to be 30. 30 plus 40 is 70. 70 plus 35 is 105. 105 plus 16 will give me 105 plus 16. That will give me 121. So that answer is 121. So that is the profit we made from sales. If they've asked you for the profits made from services, of course, you know, this is the guys you want to sum up, right? Very straightforward, guys. Let's go to the next question. Yeah, I want to do this thing as fast as possible. Question two. Yeah. So question two is on the screen. Uh, maybe you want to pause the video and give it your best try. And thereafter, you come back and see the solution. So question two, let's read together. It says, approximately, how many people in total are employed in distribution? How many people are employed in total? Sorry, how many people in total are employed in distribution? Now let's quickly go to the chat and um, see what the chat is all about before we know how many people are employed in distribution, right? Now look at the total uh, uh, people in full employment. So these are the total number of people employed. We have for the men, we have 14 million. And for the women, we have 6 million. Of course, you know, we have more men working uh, than the women, just like you can see right here. Well, of course, you know, um, this is your statistics, okay? So um, this is just what it is. Huh? So now let us see the distribution of these workers. You know, we have 14 million men working for this company and 6 million men are also working for this. I mean, 6 million women are also working for this company, right? But they are not just working in the same department. Some of them are in different, different departments. So those... Um, those working in man, we have people working in manufacturing, distribution, finance, just like you can see right here. Okay. But our interest is the total number of people working in where distribution. So this is our point of interest, right? Let me just mark this place. Yeah. I'm I'm going to be very basic as possible because I understand that some of us here, we are not very much um, good with math. It's been long we dropped math. And of course, I'm here to help you guys as much as you need our help. So don't worry, we're going to be as basic as possible just for you to understand every single thing we are doing right here in this class. So our interest to know the total number of people working where in distribution. So we know that the number of men working in the distribution are 18%, the number of women are 25%. So now let me quickly explain this stuff for you. 
If I want to know the number of men working in manufacturing, I'll just do 23% of 14 million because you know we have the total people working a, I mean, we have the total men in that company, there are 14 million. So if I want to know the number of men that are in the manufacturing department, I will do 23% of what? Of the total number of men. Does it make sense? 23% of 14 million, we're giving, the, we're giving the total number of men working in the what? Manufacturing department. If I want to know the total number of women working in uh, manufacturing or maybe working in construction, of course, you see, we have 1%. Wow, we have 1% of women working in construction. So if I want to know the number, 1% is not a number. 1% tells you the fraction or the percentage of women in that department. So if I want to really know the number of women, they will do 1% of 6 million. Does it make sense? That is how you want to do this stuff, right? So now let's go to this problem. So question, um, this one is asking for the total. It's not specific about men and women. It's asking for the total. So we're going to get the total number of, uh, we're going to get, sorry, let me clean up all these things. So in this question right now, we're going to, we're, they're asking us for the total. They're not specific about men or women. They just say total. So total is the combination of men and women. Hope you know that. So we're going to get the total number of men working in distribution, and we sum it to the total number of women working in distribution, and that will be our answer. Does it make sense? So if I want to know the total number of men working in distribution, that's 18%. Uh, 18% means 18 over 100, okay? 18% of how many men are there? 14 million. 14 million men. That's a very big number. Wow. Then I also need to add it up to the total number of percent of women working in that distribution. That's 25%. So 25% is 25 over 100 times um there are many women in that company that are six million women um six oh sorry six million women okay so you now do the math from here um very quickly your calculator would be very much useful right here um i just have my calculator right here on the screen so 18 percent is simply going to be 0 0.18 okay 18 over 100 0 0.18 so i multiply it with 14 million so 0 0.18 times 14 million, 14 million. Um, that will give us, uh, let me just write it out here. Let me just write it out here. That will give us two, five, um, two, zero million. Then plus, then do this one. 25% is 25, uh, 25 over 100 means 0 0.25. Then times 6 million, 6 million. So the number of women in that part, in that distribution is 1.5 million. Of course, what do you want to do from here? You add it up together. Just go ahead and add it up together. So you know the total people working in distribution. So add it up to 25, um, 25220, two, right? And 000. So that's going to give us 4,020,000. Uh, 4, so that's, one of, that's what it's going to give us. 4,020,000. But they are asking approximately. So when you approach this guy, when you approximate these guys, you're going to get 4 million. So that is the answer for question two. It's quite long, right? But then you understand I'm just trying to explain. Okay, I'm not trying to be very fast in this problem. I'm only just trying to explain so that you understand it and you can, so that you'll be able to solve questions that are in this context, okay? So I'm not rushing here. I'm just trying to make you understand every single process I'm doing. So if you're actually getting all of this things you are doing, let me know in the comment section, guys, so that I'll be motivated to make another video for you. So um, question three, let me clear up this stuff. Question three again is here. Okay, this is question three. Let's read together. It says, if the wage bill for year 2001 was 4 million um, pounds, what was the wage bill for year 2000? Now, they told us the wage bill for year 2001 is 4 million pounds. Now, they are asking for the wage bill for year 2000. Can you say, can you tell me the answer? Of course, it's not possible because there is no relationship between what happened in 2001 and the, there's no relationship or there's no connection between this year and this other year. If it if you want further, if you went further to look into details, you can see in taxation 25% here, 25% here. In materials, uh 20% here, 15% here. Things are changing. If you make one million today, how will I know how much you make tomorrow? 
when things are changing every day. But there is no connection. But if I, if they tell me you make one million naira today, you did this stuff, you did this stuff, and the next day, how much are you going to make if all of those things are remains constant? Then I can say you can make one million because all of those things are constant. But you can see things are changing, so we cannot tell, or there is no proper relationship. There is no enough information to tell us what the wage bill for year two thousand would be. So the answer is I cannot say. Okay, yeah, so. This is the third question. Let's go to the fourth one. Um, the fourth question here, I don't want the video to get so long. Uh, maybe I'm gonna have to pause it here and do another one. Okay, um, let's see this one. It's already on the screen. Um, let's see this one. Let's do this one together and possibly we might stop very soon. Okay, so question, um, this is another question category now. You can see this is another chart problem. We are done with that particular category. So we are in another category right now. So how do we go about solving this particular problem? Okay. Now, the first thing you want to do, you want to read the question as much as you can. Try as much as you can to understand the question. That's the very first thing I, I would want to say. And try as much as you can to understand the chart. This is a chart. This is here is another chart. So how do we understand this chart? Now, let's go to work. It says, if direct mail generated 27,000 leads in 2003, how many were generated by radio advertising that year? Okay, this question is very tricky. And it's only called for your attention because I'm going to try as much as I can to explain it for you guys. So let me show you something real quick before we come back to this problem. If I tell you that the number of young boys, oh, sorry, if I tell you that the young, number of young boys um, in Nigeria are 20% and they are 50, um, 12 million, 12 million. What is the number of girls in, what is the number of young girls in Nigeria? What's the number of young girls in Nigeria if they are 30%? Okay, what's the number of young girls in Nigeria? Now, I'll rephrase this question. The number of young boys in Nigeria are 20 percent and they are 12,000. Okay, or uh, let's say 12 million, right? Let's make it uh, a lot more uh, reasonable 12 million. Okay, so the number of young boys are 20 percent and they are 12 million. All right, now what is the number of young years in that same country? Now, if you know the total population of that country, what will you just do? You just do 30 percent of the total population, right? you get the number of young in that country. So how do we now get the total population? We can get it from this four statement here. Look at it here. They said 20% of the total population. Let's say the total population is P. That will give us 12 million boys. I will say that again. 20% of the young boys in Nigeria are 12 million. So if for us to get the 12 million, we need 20% of a certain number of people. We need to do 20% of the total population, right? To get the 12 million but we don't know the total population let's call it p so it means 20 percent of p will give us the number of young boys in nigeria which is 12 million does it make sense at this point so 20 percent is just 20 over 100 right which is 0 0.2 so times p is 0 0.2 p equal to 12 million right so what i'm about to achieve i'm about to achieve the total population in that country so that i can get the number of young years by doing 30 percent of that total population right so of course you divide everybody by 0 0.2 like this 0 0.2 and when you do that stuff with my calculator 12 million um divided by 0 0.2 what would that give us um uh, that would give us um, a very large number here um Okay, um, my calculator is not giving me the answer. The number is too large, so I, I cannot do it myself. So if I multiply here by 10, I multiply here by 10, so I'm going to get um, 12, uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, then all over, this is 120 million, all over 2. That is what I'm going to get because this is going to give me 2. Then if I divide this guy by 12, that will give me 12 times, uh, the 12 divided by 2 is 6, so I'm having 6, 1, 2, 3, one to three, so 60 million. So I'm having 60 million. So the total, the total population is 60 million. Okay. So if I really want to know the number of girls, what would I do, class? I'll just do 30% of 60 million, and that will give me the number of girls. 
Now, this is the same knowledge I need to apply in the question we're about to solve right now. So let's go to that particular question. Now look at this question, um, sorry. Look at this question. Question one, it says that if direct mail generated 27,200 leads in 2003, how many will radio advertising generate? Look at it here, direct, this is direct mail. Look at direct mail right here. And this is the key. This one in, um, I don't know the color. This one is, is the year 2003, and this one in blue is year 2004. So we're interested in what year? 2003. So I'm looking at this one with this particular color. That looks like, um, uh, what color is that again? Uh, is it, it looks like red, but there's a name for it, yeah? Something, I, I can't remember the name for this color. So, but we know that we are interested in this one that has this color because we are interested in the year 2003, right? So if you go to radio advertising, let's go to radio advertising. This is radio advertising. So in that particular year, 2003, you did that advertising made 20%. So if I want to know the number of leads that were generated by radio advertising, I would go to 20% of the total leads in that particular year. So it will be 20% of a certain number to get how many leads that radio advertising generated. So we are about to get the total leads generated in 2003. So we can, so we can use 20% of that total leads and get what radio advertising generated. But this is going to help us. This four system is going to help us get the total leads generated in 2003. Now, let's go to work. So what I want you to look out for now is direct mail. They said direct mail generated 27,000 leads. So that is 8.5%. So 8.5% of this guy times the total population or the total leads, let's say times the total leads is now giving us the 27,200 um, um, leads generated by the um, direct mail. I don't know if you understand what I just put down here. So 8.5% of that total lead is what gave us this amount, right? So we're about to get that total lead from here. 8.5% is like 8.5 over 100. That will give us 0. Um, 085. Okay, L is equal to 27,200. So, of course, you divide everybody by 0 0.085 and divide it by 0 0.085. That will give us um, calculator. We have 27,200 27, divided by 0 0.085. That will give us um, the total leads going to become 320,000. So take note, in the year 2003, we generated how much? 320,000. In the year 2003, we generated how much? 320,000 leads. So if I want to know how much that the, that the radio advertising contributed to this, I'll just do 20% of this total. So I'll just do 20%, which is 20 over 100, of this total, which is 320,000. That's how I'm going to know how much leads that the radio advertising generated. So if you do that um, here, that's going to give us um, times 0 0.2. That's going to give us 64,000. Okay? So it means that radio advertising generated 64,000 leads in the year 2003. Direct email generated 27,200 leads in the year 2003. So the answer is 64,000 because they are interested in what radio advertising generated. I don't know if this um, explanation is clear enough. Maybe I'm going to have to stop here. You go over it. Tell me if you want more of this video in the comment section so that we know how many more videos we're going to make for you guys in preparation for your NLNG aptitude test. So guys, we are going to call it a break. I will going to pause right here in this video. And if I get more comments, I then I know you are interested. I'll make more videos for you guys. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for sharing this video to other people who are preparing for the NLNG aptitude test. I wish you guys all the best. I pray God help you and give you the job. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye-bye.